Also, this week, we got some pictures of my next internet terminal. This is the first terminal or first photo of a Starlink transceiver, but I'm guessing this is very preliminary. This looks photoshopped. don't think this is what it'll end up looking like. But what we're looking at on Reddit, someone posted uh, Fluid Mechanics Doubts posted a, a picture of Starlink transceiver. And it basically has a, a pin connector a, a, and a, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. It's just a <laughs> black box that says Starlink and SpaceX. How do we know this isn't Photoshopped, man? Come on, look at that. It's true. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, he just to took believe. an intent, took a picture of a of a uh, what is it a, a phase array uh, receiver or something like that? I forget what it was called. Yeah, but. it is. And someone noticed that they're mil spec weatherproof connectors. I remember reading about that. Um, a cannon plug, which would oh, make it so that you could have this outdoors potentially, because this probably will need you know it needs yeah, to have line yeah. of sight. So this might have to be something that's outside and have weatherproof. I wonder how that works things. with like clouds and things. You know, clouds no problem. Really. Oh, yeah. because it's not, right, it's not It's optical. not visible light. I was thinking about this the other day because um, somehow my dad still has, like, dial-up internet. <laughs> it's it's amazing. What, what uh, still so does? So whenever I go out there, there's, I basically don't have any internet. So, oh, that's uh, so nice. For something like this, no, I was, like, kind of thinking in my head, like, how would that work? Would, would Could I just, like, put that outside the window of my bedroom and does it have Wi-Fi and I could just connect my my computer to it through Wi-Fi would have to run a cord somewhere. You or... might have to bring a, a Wi-Fi router, you know, it, yeah. it'd be like plugging into your cable modem. So it'll, it'll probably just have cat five off of it. <clears throat> I, it there's... might have its own Wi-Fi transmitter. I don't know why it, that'd be convenient for people that, you know, yeah. don't want it to buy another piece of hardware. You it's just plug like it in, spot. literally plug yeah. it in and it's broadcasting Wi-Fi. I wouldn't, I, I probably wouldn't opt for that because I like, in my house, for example, we have the Wi-Fi mesh network thing because right. of the different stuff in the walls. It's like, you know, the signal doesn't... Like, a lot of mm. newer homes are built with metal studs, and that just messes up all this kind of stuff. Right. So, yeah. I don't know. I don't know that I would, like, want the built-in one because you'll want to upgrade that over time and stuff. Like, But think about how just, cheap a built-in, like, Wi-Fi... Tra- I mean, you can... I mean, they like can do bucks. it fine, but I'm saying I, w- I would not use that. Right, you would I would use... use yeah. Well, as long as it has both. Right. Yeah. Speaking of SpaceX and satellites sure uh, and why and internet and satellites and space and stuff like that, uh, it was announced that Planet, what formerly Planet Labs, but now just Planet is the name of the company. Um, they do a lot of uh, satellite imagery of the Earth. They're well known for that, but they are going to be launching six Skysats into space uh, on a Falcon 9, offering targeted coverage, unrivaled rapid revisits, and raw image uh, capacity. But notice that they said they're launching. Um, on board i wait did i misread this oh okay did i misread this i swear that they were linking on a starlink mission wait yeah they're ride sharing on a starlink mission um i think <laughs> someone help me sky sets and wait right there uh sky sets will launch on spacex's ninth starlink mission yeah okay good i didn't misread which is crazy so starlink missions already have 60 satellites in them and pretty much stuff the thing to the gills where are these satellites going to go? <laughs> it's just, it's crazy. I'll just strap them onto the outside of the fairing. <laughs> I, it'll be interesting to see how that fits and if we get pictures of that. And if we know, you know, it'd be they might be at the top of the stack and they let go of those first and then let go of all the Starlink satellites or something. But mm. that'll be interesting. Um, but I think the, um, wait, what was this one? Okay, before we, I, I want to save the, the best for last, but... The uh, another exciting thing coming up this week, this weekend, they're launching the X thirty seven B military space plane. That's that little Boeing miniature space plane that we know very little about. This is the super is, super secret one that we have like photos of and all the details. Of. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but what's interesting about this is it's it's going to be launching on top of an Atlas V this time with no solid rocket boosters and the five hundred one, so a five meter wide fairing. But no no boosters, which is pretty unusual, actually, to see a five-meter fairing and no boosters. But this thing is pretty light, and it's only going to lower Earth orbit. But it also is sitting on top of a new um, service module below these fins. They conveniently leave those out of the pictures. Um, there's something right below here at the very bottom of these pictures. <laughs> That's that, the secret part. That is probably the secret part. But 
they also did say kind of what's inside the payload bay. There's a couple, um, a couple tests and stuff, which they normally don't talk about it at all. So we're seeing some stuff. I don't know why it's getting discolored right there. It's a bit gross. <laughs> it left <laughs> it, it like... out in the sun too long. <laughs> or it's sweat. It's sweating. It's nervous. <laughs> Those are pit stains. Um, but yeah, th that's going to be fun to watch because it's just cool to, to see, to know that <laughs> what we're seeing and it's like the secret space plane. And the last time it was up there, it spent over a year in space or was so it cute. several years? I don't even remember now, but yeah. yeah, I remember it was like four or five years or something. It was a long time. Maybe it was only two, but it was, it was a while. Hey, thanks for checking us out, guys. I hope you enjoyed this clip from our podcast. We do a weekly show here on YouTube, so make sure to subscribe to Our Ludicrous Future, where we discuss all the things that are going to make our future totally ludicrous. You can join us here on YouTube or at any of your favorite podcast places. Plus, if you want to get some behind-the-scenes stuff and join a cool community, you can help support the channel at patreon.com. Thanks a lot. Thanks, guys.